Hey you guys, it's Rachel here. The Sense of Tempo kind of course so. Um all right, so wanted to do an update for you guys um on these puppies. Since I <clears throat> last talked about this litter yesterday, I've lost um almost half the litter. There were 11 and now there are 6 left. Um, I don't know if you can see here how skinny that puppy is right there. Let's see if it'll move again. But she has good milk and, um, they are very, um, you can see here very skinny puppies. And, um, doing what I can, but, um, there's just, there's just not much I can do. So, um, you know, um, hold on, I'm, um, I'm trying my best to come in, um, you can see that one in there is really skinny too, see that? So, um, I talked with my mentor, I sent him, um, down. I sent some pictures of the puppies um, and asked his opinion and um, he told me that they didn't look very good. Um, can you please lay down, Carrie? She's not going to. Um, and uh, anyway, um, <clears throat> I think he said that like one of them might have looked okay, but the thing about it is, is that, um, is that, uh, yeah, I see you. I know, Carrie. Um, yeah, you don't want to lay down because of this. Okay, I moved it. All right, lay down. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Um, better... So, like I said, I keep waking them up and putting them on the mom. Um, but, you know, there's just only, um, there's just only so much you can do. You know what I mean? Like, if it, it, this is very much, there's something wrong with these puppies. Um, to where they are not I think this one is the only one that actually looks um it's still skinny but it almost looks kind of normal um but basically what's happening is that um they're very thin and um and despite eating a lot or you know constantly nursing they're not putting on any weight and that's um like they'll start to nurse and then, um, and then they'll fall asleep and, you know, you guys have seen my litters before, um, you know, they're big chunks, you know what I mean? Big, big happy puppies. And these are just not, these are very thin puppies. They just don't seem to put on any weight. Um, and basically what has happened is that one by one, what happens is that they get more tired and, um, and then they stop eating. And then after they stop eating shortly after that, they start having seizures and then, and then they die. Um, I actually came in, it was kind of spooky. I came in to one of them, um, it was literally standing on all four legs, just, just straight legged, like stiff legged, like it's back arched in a seizure. And then it just fell over dead. And this is all very new for me. This is not something that I've ever seen before. 
Um, as you guys know, I've talked about the fact that yes, puppies do fade. That's very normal. On a big litter, you will lose a puppy. Um, what I can tell you is on her last litter, her puppies were really small. They were out of bad mortigan. And um, we had one fade out early on, which was fine. And then we had one fade out at two weeks of age, um, which I chalked it up to worms because Carrie had a super high worm load that I didn't know about. Um, she comes from a kennel that does not worm traditionally. Um, she's a, like an herbalist. And so she worms with herbs and stuff like that. And it did not work with Carrie. And so, um, I wormed the puppies at two weeks and then they seemed to be doing a lot better. And there was one little male, um, and I had somebody on the list that was waiting for a puppy and, um, I showed him pictures. I was like, look, I don't think this little puppy's going to make it. He was so tiny. They were eating dog food and this puppy was just, um, super skinny and tiny, just super small little puppy. And, um, and anyway, he did pass away. He, um, he got real quiet and he always just, he was super sweet, but he just looked really dull. You see how that one blue one is, is moving away? Look how skinny the hips are, the belt. It just, they're just not, they're just not putting on any weight. Um, I don't know. And, and they all die. Um, the exact same way every single time they, they, you know, begin to fade, they get tired, they stop eating and then they start to seize. And, um, I'm going to be honest with you. I would be surprised if any of these puppies make it. Um, I've already been in contact with everyone on this list, letting them know what's going on. And it's tough because, um, you know, a lot of people, there's dog breeding and stuff is almost borderline like, um, like, what would I say? Like, um, I would say it's like, um, superstitious in a way, you know, people, they hear something like that and they're like, oh, I don't want to buy a dog. But the truth is, is that these are not. Carrie's not my lines and I'm not, um, going to continue, um, to use her. Um, I'm already trying to find a home for Carrie and once this is over with, I'll be finding a home for, um, sorry, I meant to say Wasabi. I'm already finding a home for Wasabi, which is the female I kept back, um, out of, um, Carrie and Mad Mortigan. And, um, and then I'll be finding a home for Carrie once this is over with. And it's really traumatic for me. Um, I know I don't sound like it now, but I've been, you know, I've been dealing with this for, um, for a couple days now, I guess I should say. Um, and, um, Mm, like I said, I talked to my mentor about it and he, he agrees that it's in the lines. You know what I mean? It, it, the amount of puppies that I had die in her first litter was not normal. Three puppies is not normal. I had somebody write a comment and they were like, they were like, well, um, nature weeds out the weak. And it's like, yeah, um, yeah, that's, that's why we usually have one puppy that will fade. You don't have a whole litter that fades. You don't have three puppies that fade. That is not um, in any way normal. Um, by any stretch of the imagination, it is not normal. And um, and um, and you don't want to breed that. You know what I mean? Um, if you've got if you've got a female and she loses one puppy, okay, that's fine. But, um, which is like I said, normal, but losing multiple puppies out of a litter is not normal and should be avoided because you don't know why it's happening. 
and um and ultimately it doesn't matter why it's happening it just matters that it is happening and you need to you know you need to move away from it um you know it's one thing for it to happen one time maybe there was a maybe the blood didn't mix and you need to do a different pairing but you know two times i mean the second time even being worse and um carrie was kept inside her whole pregnancy she wasn't outside and so um so it's not like um like there's anything like that going on so um so anyway, so I wanted to do this update just because it's a part of my job. A lot of people hide this kind of stuff. They don't talk about it, but I like to be honest about this kind of stuff. I like for people to see the truth um, about how hard this job is. A lot of people think it's easy, just quick money, and it's not. And um, there's a lot of heartache, and there's a lot of tragedy, and um, a lot of people you know, um, need, they just need to know that it's not, it's not just this thing. You just put dogs together and you make puppies and Bob's your uncle, you got money. It's, it's just not like that. So, um, you know, it is what it is, but, um, I will keep you guys updated, but, um, I'm not really holding out much hope. Any prayers that you have, I appreciate it. Any positive thoughts that you have, I appreciate it. Um, you know, I try not to... I really try to allow my faith to take over in these moments. Um, for us, it's a loss. For us, they're dying. But for God, they're not dying. He's, you know, God accepts them back. If You know, if you're a Christian, I'm a Christian. And... Um, and so for me, I just, the, what I tell myself is they just, they, you know, Jesus called them back and, um, it's not for me to decide, um, what does or doesn't happen. I do my best. Um, I do everything I can here and the rest I leave to God. And if they make it, they make it. And if they don't, they don't. And, um, and as a responsible breeder, my job is... Um, to ensure that I'm not reproducing weakness, um, health issues, things like that, that I am breeding the best animals that I can. And that's what I do. And so that's why I won't breed carry again. Because I don't want to risk it. I, I won't, none of these dogs will go into breeding homes, even if they do live. Because there's no reason to, um you know, past the poison, if you will. It's what I kind of call things like this. Like when you have a problem, you're passing the poison and I'm not going to do that. So, um, so Carrie's going to be retired after this. We'll be looking for a pet home. Um, and any of these puppies that make it, if they do, they will go into pet homes like I said, I mean, you can see a lot of hip bone on these puppies. I mean, they just, they came out shrink wrapped, you know, they're just so skinny and, um, and I've done everything I can, but they just stay that way. It doesn't matter how much you feed them or how much you try to get them to eat. It's like they didn't eat at all. It's really weird. Um, so anyway. Um, hope you guys are having a good day and I'll talk at you later. Bye.